Do you know who I am? I am the largest organ in your body. I am an active participant in almost every physiological process of the human body. You can't feel me, but I play a central role in all body functions. I filter over a liter of blood every minute. I am the human liver. I am within all of you and I understand you perfectly. But do you know me? Come, let's get to know each other better. I am the largest glandular organ of the body and weigh about 3 pounds. I am reddish brown in color and divided into four lobes of unequal size and shape. I am located on the right side of the abdominal cavity beneath the diaphragm. Blood is carried to the liver via two large vessels called the hepatic artery and the portal vein. The hepatic artery carries oxygen-rich blood from the aorta, a major vessel in the heart. The portal vein carries nutrient-rich blood from the stomach, intestines, pancreas and spleen. What do I do for you? I perform various functions for you. I remove harmful chemicals from your blood. I fight infection. I help to digest food by producing enzyme bile that break down fats, convert glucose to glycogen, produce urea, the main substance of urine. I store nutrients, minerals and vitamins A, D, K and B12. I store energy. I make certain amino acids, the building blocks of proteins. I maintain the blood glucose levels. I perform several roles in lipid metabolism, including cholesterol synthesis. What makes me sad? Some habits or external factors make me ill and prevent me from doing my job for you. What are the diseases that affect me and make both of us sad? Hepatitis, inflammation of the liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Cirrhosis is a consequence of chronic liver disease characterized by replacement of liver tissue by fibrosis and sear tissue leading to loss of liver function. The death of the liver cells can be caused by viral hepatitis, alcoholism or contact with other liver toxic chemicals. Hemochromatosis, a hereditary disease causing the accumulation of iron in the body, eventually leading to liver damage. Cancer of the liver. Wilson's disease, a hereditary disease which causes the body to retain copper. Now, let's talk about hepatitis. What is hepatitis? Hepatitis is a liver disease. Hepatitis means inflammation of the liver. Inflammation is the painful red swelling that results when tissues of the body become injured or infected. Inflammation can cause organs to not work properly. Hepatitis are of five types A, B, C, D, E which are caused by five types of virus. Today we shall learn more about Hepatitis B type. Who could get Hepatitis B? Anyone can get Hepatitis B, but some people are at higher risk, including people who were born to a mother with Hepatitis B, people who live with someone who has Hepatitis B, people who have lived in parts of the world where Hepatitis B is common, People who are exposed to blood or body fluids at work. People on hemodialysis. People who have had more than one sex partner in the last six months or have a history of sexually transmitted disease. Injection drug users using an infected person's razor or toothbrush. Being tattooed or pierced with unsterilized tools that were used on an infected person. Men who have sex with men. What are the symptoms of Hepatitis B? 
hepatitis B usually has no symptoms. Adults and children aged 5 and older sometimes have one or more of the following symptoms. Yellowish eyes and skin called jaundice. A longer than usual amount of time for bleeding to stop. Swollen stomach or ankles. Easy bruising. Tiredness. Upset stomach. Fever. Loss of appetite. Diarrhea. Light colored stools. Dark yellow urine. What is chronic hepatitis B? Hepatitis B is chronic when the body can't get rid of the hepatitis B virus. Children, especially infants, are more likely to get chronic hepatitis B, which usually has no symptoms until signs of liver damage appear. Without treatment, chronic hepatitis B can cause scarring of the liver called cirrhosis, liver cancer and liver failure. Symptoms of cirrhosis include yellowish eyes and skin called jaundice, a longer than usual amount of time for bleeding to stop, swollen stomach or ankles, tiredness, nausea, weakness, loss of appetite, weight loss, spider-like blood vessels called spider angiomas that develop on the skin. How can Hepatitis B be diagnosed? Hepatitis B is diagnosed through blood tests which can also show if you have chronic Hepatitis B or another type of Hepatitis. Your doctor may suggest getting a liver biopsy if chronic Hepatitis B is suspected. A liver biopsy is a test for liver damage. The doctor uses a needle to remove a tiny piece of liver which is then looked at with a microscope. How can Hepatitis B be treated? Hepatitis B usually is not treated unless it becomes chronic. Chronic Hepatitis B is treated with drugs that slow or stop the virus from damaging the liver. The length of treatment varies. Your doctor will help you decide which drug or drug combination is likely to work for you and will closely watch your symptoms to make sure treatment is working. Drugs given by shots include interferon, peginterferon. Drugs taken by mouth include lamivudine, telbivudine, adefovir, entecavir. Liver transplantation. A liver transplant may be necessary if chronic hepatitis B causes liver failure. Liver transplantation surgery replaces a failed liver with a healthy one from a donor. Medicines taken after surgery can prevent Hepatitis B from coming back. How can you avoid getting Hepatitis B? Vaccines are medicines that keep you from getting sick. Vaccines teach your body to attack specific germs. The Hepatitis B vaccine teaches your body to attack the Hepatitis B virus. The Hepatitis B vaccine protects you from infection. Adults at higher risk of getting Hepatitis B and all children should get the vaccine. There is no minimum age for vaccination. The Hepatitis B vaccine is given through three shots over a period of several months. First shot on any elected day. Second shot at least one month after first shot. Third shot six months after first shot. The Hepatitis B vaccine is safe for pregnant women. You need all three shots to be fully protected. If you are traveling to a country where Hepatitis B is common, try to get all the shots before you go. If you don't have time to get all the shots before you go, get as many as you can. One shot may provide some protection against the virus. You can also protect yourself and others from Hepatitis B if you use a condom during sex. Do not share drug needles. Wear gloves if you have to touch another person's blood. Do not borrow another person's toothbrush, razor or anything else that could have blood on it. Make sure any tattoos or body piercing you get are done with sterile tools. Do not donate blood or blood products if you have Hepatitis B.
What should you do if you think you have been exposed to the hepatitis B virus? See your doctor right away if you think you have been exposed to the hepatitis B virus. The first shot of the hepatitis B vaccine taken with a medicine called hepatitis B immune globulin and or hepatitis B vaccine series may prevent you from getting sick. If you are at higher risk of hepatitis B, get tested. Many people do not know they are infected. Early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent liver damage. Points to remember for Hepatitis B Hepatitis B is a liver disease caused by the Hepatitis B virus. Anyone can get Hepatitis B, but some people are at higher risk. You could get Hepatitis B through contact with an infected person's blood, semen or other body fluid. Hepatitis B usually has no symptoms. Adults and children aged 5 and older sometimes have jaundice or other symptoms. Hepatitis B usually is not treated unless it becomes chronic. Hepatitis B is chronic when the body can't get rid of the Hepatitis B virus. Children, especially infants, are more likely to develop chronic Hepatitis B. Chronic Hepatitis B is treated with drugs that slow or stop the virus from damaging the liver. You can protect yourself from getting Hepatitis B by getting the Hepatitis B vaccine. See your doctor right away if you think you have been exposed to the Hepatitis B virus. If you are at higher risk of Hepatitis B, get tested. Many people do not know they are infected. Early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent liver damage. Remember what I told you today to ensure that you and me are happy tomorrow.